hello guys welcome back to the new video so in this video i'm going to show you how you can make such type of login and registration form for your wordpress website by using the uh, elementor pro and wordpress so let me show that let me show the demonstration of the form which we're going to make in this video so here you can see that we have two form one is for the login and one is for the register so let's go to the register and we're gonna register in our website with a new account so for that i'm just entering a random name adam adam at the rate gmail.com and here i'm going to write adam uh, new okay then after that we have to just click on the register and after clicking and after clicking on the register let's get back to our dashboard okay so here we have to just go to our dashboard and let's see in the users so we have to just go to the users all users and here you can see that we have this account uh, adam which we have just uh, registered new okay so without waiting so without wasting any time let's start the video and we're gonna make this login and registration form for your wordpress website by using the Elementor Pro and the WordPress. Okay, so let's start the video and we're gonna make this from scratch. Okay, so let's get back to the dashboard and here I will show you what are the themes and the plugins I'm using for making this pop-up form. So I will show you, so here you can see that we are using these plugins, uh, Elementor, Elementor Pro and uh, Essential add-ons for Elementor. Okay, so after that uh, we, so let me show you the themes which I'm using. Uh, so for the themes, I'm using the official uh, Elementor theme okay so after that we have to just uh, go to our pop-ups and uh, let's get back to our pop-ups from here we have to go to our pop-up and here we have to open our pop-up so let me show you what we're gonna make in this video side by side also so let me open this in the incognito window and here uh, we're gonna add this pop-up okay so here you, uh, so here you can see that this is the design of the pop-up okay so let's start making this where we have this login and registration form so here you can see that I, I already have pop-up. So let me add a new pop-up from here. And we're going to make this pop-up from scratch. New uh, new login uh, pop-up. You can uh, name it whatever you want. Any random name according to you. Okay, so after that, uh, let's wait for it to open. And after that, uh, we're going to make this pop-up design. Okay, so here you can see that I have this tab. So when I click on the login, I will in the login. And here on the register, I have the uh different form okay so for making that uh, we have to just go here and from here uh what do you have to do so let me check the design again so here you can see that okay so first uh, we have to uh let's go here here we're gonna choose this container okay then after that we have to go here and here in the full width then you have to make it uh, like that and let's add some padding in it 30 and for the background color we're gonna use uh, this background color so let me use a little bit matte color for here okay like this okay then after that uh, we have to just drag and drop a heading container here okay so let me add a heading container and here i'm gonna write become our member okay you can write anything whatever you want then after that uh, we have to just uh, then let's uh, uh, choose here oswald font okay so after that let's increase the font size okay so let's make that 40 and after that you can see that we have this red here and uh, this uh, white text so for that we have to just go to the content option and here uh, let's uh, make our uh, so here we have to just enter a span tag here okay then after that uh, we have to enter another span tag okay then after that we have to go to styles and here we're gonna enter color uh, red okay so we have to just set that here right okay so i think it is not loading okay so let me see what is the issue okay so now it is loading you have to just enter this okay so this is uh, looking like this so let me get back to this okay so let's uh, me okay then after that let's enter here uh, today also and we're gonna keep our member inside this hour okay so it will be like that okay then after that uh, uh, after that we have to what we have to do we have to enter these tabs so for making these tabs what we have to do we have to just go here and here we have to search for tabs and just drag and drop these tabs okay so after drag and drop these tabs okay so let me show you one more thing uh, sometimes this don't work so just you have to go to the settings from here and you have to just go to the features option and here you have to activate the nested, nested uh, elements and the uh, flexbox container okay so after activating this it will work like this pop-up means this okay then after that we have to delete one tab and after that we have to write here let's write it here uh, login 
let's write it here login and in the second one we're gonna write it here register okay then after that we have to just uh, drag and drop a form here so let's uh, check your form and here we have to drag and drop the form coming from the uh, essential add-on so this is the form login and register form so we have to just drag and drop this form here okay so here you can see that we have this uh, login and register form so when i click on the register it will take me to the register also but we don't want this but we do but we don't want this okay so here you can see that uh, we have to disable this uh, button so for disabling this button we have to just click on the login form general and here you will find options okay so here you can see that we have this option show register link so we have to just uh, disable this so now we don't have this register link so okay and after that we, you have to just uh, uh, go to the styles option and the styles and the container width uh, we have to make this uh, 100% okay and for the form width also we gonna make this uh, 100% okay so you, you can see that our form is looking good after doing that and just you have to change the colors and also let go to the tabs option and in the styles option uh, we have to just uh, change the active color so let's change this active color uh, to something red okay so let's change this to red and uh, after that for the hover color also uh, we're gonna choose the same color code from here and for the hover color also we're gonna add this red color okay then after that uh, we have to just uh, click so when you click on this you can see that we have this type of things okay so here you can see that if i click on the register i have this form and uh, for the register form we don't want to show this form so let me first copy this and we have to go to the login tab and here we have to just uh, uh, duplicate this paste this okay so after that you can see that we have this login form in the login and in the register we we have to show the register form so for that we have to go to these forms okay just click on this forms and after that you have to just go here and here from here you have to just click on this registration form okay so after that you can see that we are getting this sign in option but we don't want to show this sign in option also okay so here what we have to do we have to just click on this uh, uh, register form general and from here we have to show login link we have to hide this link okay so when you hide this link you can see that we uh, uh, so when i go in the register tab i only have the register form and and when i go in the login form i only have this login form okay so let's update this once and after that uh, let's uh, go he go here and from here we have to go to the layout option and from here let's make this like this and here we have to add some uh, gap so let's keep this gap okay so now you can see that our uh, design is uh, very much similar only we have to add this button in the center and we have to add some border like that okay so after that we have to just uh, uh, click on this form and from here go to the styles option and we have to go to the uh, register button and after the register button you can see that we have this you can make it center like this and if you want to change the color of this you can just go here and change this color okay like that okay now this is in the center and similarly we have to just go here and the login also we can just paste styles okay so it will not work so we have to go to the again here and in the login button we have to just make it uh, uh, center and for this uh, background color we have to just make this like that okay so you can see that we have our login and register form ready now let's uh, add a border to our container so for adding this we have to go to the pop-up settings and here we have to go to the here in the pop-up here we have to just go to the border choose this and here we have to add this and make this white okay so let's add 20 and uh, let's make this four pixel and after that you can see that our uh, this is coming but uh, only uh, this is not properly so we have to also add the border to this uh, container which is inside the pop-up container okay so we have to just make it solid and then also we have to add this no okay so we don't want to add this uh, border we have to just add the border radius of 20 okay so now if i see you can see that our form is looking like that and also we have this border at the end okay so let's back get back to the designs option and here you can see that we have this border also here so for adding this you have to just click on this and here if i go to this container i think we have to add this border from here okay so you can see that our border is coming here and let's keep this 10 only and let's see it final time you can see that uh, this is looking good 
okay also you can add the uh, border to this register form so just to go to this container box and here in the border radius you have to just uh, add the tank okay so let's uh, preview it once so here you can see that in the login we have this login form and the end register we have this form okay then after that we have to just uh, add here the button of the cancel like here you can see that we have the cancel button so when i so when the pop-up is open uh, users should have the access to close the pop-up so for that we have to go to the styles option and in the close button uh, we have to enter this white color and also if you want to increase the size let's increase the size okay let's keep this very simple we have this cross button to close the pop-up okay let's update okay so let me show you one more thing our pop-up is almost uh, uh, our pop-up is ready now let me show you the uh, animation part so so, so you can see that when i click on this the pop-up is coming with an cool uh, animation and also going out with an animation so for adding that we have to just go to the settings option and the settings option we have to enter here in the entrance animation we have to enter zoom in or you can enter so many types of uh, animations are there but i'm going to enter the zoom in and zoom out okay and for the for this i'm going to choose in the 0.8 seconds okay so it will take 0.8 second to complete the animations okay so let's update this and now we're going to trigger this pop-up on our page okay so right now you can see that uh, we have this button here so for that now let's uh, edit with elemental here and uh, we if you want to close it you, uh, you can also close this you can go to the responsive mode of this and also you can play with the responsiveness here i know i hope you understand how you can do that okay so after that we have to just uh, go here and here you can see that we have this button so let me remove this button and again we're gonna show you how to enter a button so let me enter a button here and we're gonna make this a center and uh, let's uh, uh, write it here become our member and after that we have to go to the style tag and here in the background color uh, let's choose this red color also okay so for the border radius we're gonna remove all the borders okay and uh, here let's do it like that for the right option 50 and here we're gonna keep the 50 okay so now you have to just click on this button and after that go to the content option and here we have to go to the dynamic text and from here go to the pop-ups and here you have to just go here and in the here in the open pop-up we have to search for our pop-up so here you can see that we have this new login pop-up template okay then after that let's update this okay so let me refresh this front end and after that when we click on this you can see that our we are getting this pop-up but right now it is not showing the form because we are already logged in so for that uh, you have to just go here and just enter this in the incognito window so when i click on this you can see that our pop-up is coming and also our login and register pop-up both are working okay so in this way you can make the pop-up uh, login and register form for your website by using this method okay so uh, you can also register this so suppose let me show the demo if i enter here any random name suppose let's enter here gil adam and uh, let's enter your random email gil at the rate gmail.com and let's enter a random password gil okay then after that you have to just click on the register option and after that it will redirect you to the home page and after that let's get back to the dashboard and let's get back to the dashboard again here and from here we gonna open our users all users and after that in the user you can see that we have this gil adam which is a subscriber okay so you can see that our login and register form is perfectly working and also if it is not working you have to just go to the general settings and from here you have to uh, enable this membership option uh, anyone can register from your settings option okay and you have to just set the new user default role for the subscriber okay so in this way you can make such type of pop-up for pop-up register form for your website so i hope you like our video if you like our video like and share our video with your friends and if you are new to our channel subscribe to our channel and i'm gonna see you next time